Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at The Loop. Now, The Loop is an expansion that was just shipped out and delivered to backers through Kickstarter, which should be also making its way to retail. Uh, and this is for the game Pitch Car. And this is a really self-explanatory expansion. It's basically giving you a loop-de-loop -loop piece that you can put in your track. Uh, but it's doing something that the game has really never done before and had uh, like a flexible bendy piece. So that is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually, you know, I, I'm going to show you the back here because they've got some different things. Uh, I, I'm planning on doing some fun stuff with Pitch Cart in the future. It's a really fun game. And as a father, I love to uh, bust this out with the kids. It's a, basically a dexterity game. And there's also something else we did get with, uh, with this as well, as we got four new um, cars. And this is kind of cool because it can actually show you how the game works. So um, let me go ahead and open this up. I ordered a couple of extra pieces too. Um, you know, you'll, you see over here I've got these, uh, this is the, the straightaways, the big long straight pieces. And so I ordered some extra pieces for the game too because I've got almost everything that they have for the game. Um, so first off, I've got two of, of these, um, these are like foam, foam pieces in here. And I think these are the, I guess the border. And that, and that's it. That's it. Those are like loose in there. Um, this, this is it right here. Now this is like, um, I don't know what it is. It definitely smells like wood. This is like like tree bark, practically. That's really big. Wait, we're gonna get a different angle for this. This is this is something. All right, so uh, I'm zoomed out a little bit more here, and effectively, it's just a big long kind of um, piece here. Now this material is real thin. It's almost about the thickness of a piece of sandpaper. Uh, feels a lot like sandpaper with no uh, grit on it. That's basically the closest uh, equivalent I can give to you. The problem is that this isn't. Uh, I don't think this is going to be very sturdy. I don't think it's going to store very well. And considering I live in Florida and I keep a lot of my gaming stuff in the garage where it gets pretty humid, I don't even think this is going to hold up very well um, here in, uh, in, the, in, in the Florida damp moisture. So uh, I may actually have to keep this inside, which is going to be awkward because pitch car all condenses down into like a small amount of boxes. And this being a big, you know, loopy kind of thing. I don't know if that's I'm going to be able to condense this very much. And another thing is it feels like it's already flat here on the top. Um, but it looks like basically we would kind of connect it like like so. Um, but it's, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. But one of the things I'm going to want to do is we're going to give it a test run or a couple of test runs here. Um, I am going to try to see about putting these pieces on because it looks like it's got a piece of self-adhesive tape. And I think we just put this on here and it's supposed to uh, kind of a, a fix to it. I mean, there's no instructions, but that's how it looks in the picture. So let's, let's see how that works. I guess I got the first one on there without too much trouble. This uh, material does seem very, very sticky and not too hard to work with. So I'm not really having a whole lot of difficulty. Um, what I'm doing though, because it is such a big piece, I'm fine. I'm rolling it the other way around, out the sticky side on the outside. Um, affixing this right there and then just kind of walking it down like inch by inch and trying to keep it aligned and keeping my finger on this piece as I walk it down uh, just to try to keep it as straight as I can make it so it don't get too screwed up and it goes down all the way Although those two pieces weren't exactly the same length. I think one was like a half a centimeter longer, but not really a big deal. All right, let's see how they look now. Okay. That might have fixed it a little bit. It gives a little more bend to it. So that's pretty good. Uh, you know what? Let's hook up some pieces and see if we can shoot some cars through this thing.
All right, so you know it works. You can try a couple of other things too, like we could try it coming in this way and looping around that way. Seems to uh, work out pretty well. Um, they even have it set up where you can kind of have it going like straight and you know, that's that's probably too much. They have like a really straight one where it kind of does that sort of thing. There's all kinds of stuff. And, and on the back of the box, they've got a lot of, you know, a lot of different options. I'll tell you what, though, it's kind of takes a lot of force to get it on there. And uh, I think I hurt my, my knuckles a little bit. So my, 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 my fingernails. But uh, but overall, pretty cool. It should be fun. I think the kids are going to have a blast with it. And we'll be setting up some tracks in the not too distant future with this thing. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that is the loop. For, uh, for Pitch Car. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.